For those who couldn't tell from the clip, you are uh, three women. This is, you are uh, committers of crimes. That's true. Yeah. Yes, it is. We did commit a crime in the pilot episode. We will continue to do bad things. Yeah. It and it's really fun. It's a super funny show. Thanks. And a fantastic cast. You, Retta, and Christina Hendricks. Were you immediately. Did it come? Did it become clear to you you're working with great people right away? Oh yeah, right away. I mean, the whole concept is you know these women grew up together and they all kind of get backed into these financial situations that are really desperate and it's kind of desperate times call for desperate measures. But I think one of the really important elements is that we really believe that they're all really close friends and so we actually ended up having a producer's dinner the first time we all three kind of hung out together and it was very formal and we had a nice cocktail and then we sort of were like the producers went home and we were like maybe should we have a nice dinner and we said sure so we went to dinner and had about seven bottles of wine <laughs> and then we were like should we keep having a nice time and we went to Christina's house and all I know is somewhere around the three o'clock mark I believe I was like I'll be right back I'm gonna go to the restroom and Christina, apparently, I just never came back. And like an hour later, like an hour later, Christina went looking for me and said her front door was ajar and my pants were splayed out on her dining room table. And she like wandered into the street and was like, May, like with my pants, thinking I just like wandered into the ocean with no pants. But I just, I took, stole some of her sweatpants and went home. Wow. Yeah. Pretty classy stuff, that right? That is classy. That's me, that, guys. There you go. Invite me over. Um, and uh, that seems like a real rookie move, but you've been doing this a long time. Yeah, I did it on purpose, okay? My character is irresponsible. <laughs> okay, I was gotcha. trying to generate. Oh, you're a you were relationship. Deep in character. That's right. I would never do that of in real course. life, Seth. You know me. Well, you're very. Well, you've been doing that. You've yeah. been uh, doing this since you were three years old, it's right? True. You've yeah. been in the business, and uh, you had parents who were very wanted to make sure you were ready for this. Yes, Pat and Jeff. They are extremely good caretakers. They really wanted to prepare me, and actually, they may have prepared me a little too much. Uh, there's a classic story that. You know, on a movie set, everybody curses like sailors. Like, it's the most intense place sure. to be. And so they said, okay, we're going to sit her down. And they said, now listen, May, you're going to hear a lot of words. And we want to tell you what they are. And we're going to tell you exactly what they mean. But you must never, ever use them. And they, you know, gave me the whole spiel, the meanings, the words, all of them. And so apparently a couple days later, they got a call from my next door neighbor, who I was best friends with their kid at the time. <laughs> and they, she, the mom said, come on over and see what's happening here. And they, <laughs> they peeked over the fence. And I was sitting in the pool. And I was going, now here are the words. <laughs> this is what they mean. But you must never, ever use them to like this like a four-year-old and her two-year-old brother. <laughs> You know, That's not my very, best work. Very helpful. Full disclosure. Uh, so, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker was just here. I know. And you are obsessed with her, but I, kind of recently. Cool it. She's probably still in the dressing room. She Seth. probably still is, yeah. She's right. probably it's, taking your mug right now. Oh, she probably is. Yeah. She can have it. She okay. can have anything. I've got a wallet, <laughs> take the cash, whatever you need, SJP. But this is you, uh, sex. In the city, this is... Yeah, I, I tend to come into things a little too late because whenever I start, like, a new show or something, it's really means a lot to me, and I get so invested, it's hard for me to do anything else. So I started... I just started Sex in the City, like, literally, like, a month ago. <laughs> Retta was making so much fun of me because I'd walk into set and be like, oh, my God, <laughs> Carrie cheated on Aiden. Can you believe? And she was like, yeah, 20 years ago, it was pretty wild to go through that. <laughs> like, it's really sad. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah. trying. I'm trying. You didn't just do it for everything, not just that show. Come in and be like, Lewinsky, have you heard? <laughs> like, guys, it's crazy. You don't understand. <laughs> I really, I, the one other area that I really struggled in is the Hamilton train. It took me yeah. four freaking ever to get on it. And Retta was like so annoyed with me. I mean, literally the only thing I knew from Hamilton was when the Hamilton challenge came up, Lauren Graham, who's still like my best friend in the world, we actually went hiking in the mountains. And afterwards she was like, we're doing the challenge. And she taught me one song. So that's like all I had to relate to, to people at parties. I was like, oh, I know. When she goes, a toast to the groom, and like does the whole thing, I was like, oh, it's crazy, right? I gotta go, though. I'm gonna run out. But Retta, when she heard about this, she totally flipped out, and she was like, we're going this trip. So I went last night for the All first right. time. Thank you. That's so good. exciting. I'm always worried that people who wait too long, they'll hear so much about Hamilton yeah. that, that will then be underwhelmed. But that does not seem I like. I couldn't believe it. First of all, something really humbling happened when I was coming back in where I got there a little late and I have like a really nightmarish peeing problem where it's like every five minutes I'm like, well, now I have to pee. I'm not enjoying the show. So like I go like right before the show starts. And when I came back in, also the show, Good Girls, had just premiered the night before. 
And when I came back in, people kind of started to look in my direction, and they were like, oh, kind of excited, taking out their cameras. And I was like, you guys, please, it's really not a big deal. And then literally the three people in front of me turned around. It was like these three beautiful blonde people, and it was the gold medal Olympians from the cross-country <laughs> skiing team. And literally everybody's like, get out of the way, excuse me, like pushing me aside. And I was like, oh, OK, yes, I mean, it's amazing. But uh, so that was pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, I was, my mind was blown. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I uh, just want to point out how kind Retta is that she would take you to that show after you made this observation this is on uh, this is Instagram. Uh, you put a picture of Retta next to a picture of The Rock, and you say, when your co-star shows up to work looking like The Rock. And uh, <laughs> I got to say, it's a pretty fair. I mean, you guys. You guys. Yeah. It's the exact. It's the exact same outfit. It's literally the exact, the exact same, same outfit. outfit. You added outfit. You added the fanny pack. What do you mean? Oh, that, that is a real fanny pack set. I would never do something like that. Uh, hey, congrats on the show. It's always Thank so great so to see much. you. May Whitman, everybody.